In question three, two marks, so it shouldn't be too tricky. We're looking at doing some differentiation, dy by dx. Don't forget, you know, differentiation could also be notation like this. Or not f negative one, sorry, that's inverse f dashed. So if you see a little f dashed, see f dashed x, that could be your um, differentiation as well. And the tricky bit with this is, oh, I've got a bracket, so what do I have to do? Well, you're going to do your chain rule. Yeah, so dy by dx. And we simply say, okay, I'll bring my 12 down just as normal. And the power, so this is, imagine this is just one term effectively. So the 12 is coming down, we're taking one away. And for the chain rule, we multiply by the differential inside the bracket, which in this case is 4. So I'm going to end up with 48, 4x take away 1 to the 11. So pretty straightforward, all you're doing is imagining that this is a term. You imagine someone said differentiate x to the 12. And that's what you've done. You've said, okay, well, that's going to give me 12x to the 11. But you just have to remember to multiply by the differential of the bracket. Now, if you forget this, okay, so you might get confused with integration as well. Um, are you multiplying by that? Are you times and by that? You can tell yourself a little story, which is that dy by dx is the same as dy by du multiplied by du by dx. So you think about it, then the du's are going to cancel out, yeah? So what is this, this u we're talking about? Well, that's what I was saying here. Instead of calling that x, we'll call that u. Okay, so if I say that y is equal to u to the power of 12, I would differentiate that and say dy by du is equal to 12u to the 11. And I would also say, okay, well, u is 4x take away 1, because that's what the bracket is. And if I differentiate that, if I say, okay, du by dx, I'm differentiating that with respect to x, is going to give me 4. And then, what do I do here? I multiply them together. So I'm saying I've got 48u to the 11, which if you take your bracket, put that in, you get the same answer. So when you do this, you can tell yourself the little story. That's absolutely fine if you forget. But as you start to do it more often, you should see quite a straightforward, you know, bring your 12 down, take one away, multiply by the differential in here. But just have that in your back pocket, just in case you, you forget, because when you start the integration, you might say, oh, wait a minute, is this the divide one, the multiply one? Ooh. So that's a nice little way of, of imagining what's, what's going on. Okay.